Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this simply supported beam with a triangular load. This is a non-uniform load acting on this beam. The magnitude of the load increases from here, from zero point, and increases to three kilonewton per meter to this end of the beam. So this is a non-uniform load act on, acting on this simply supported beam. And the load is distributed over the length of of six meter. So here is a hinge support and here is a roller support. So now we have to find out the support reaction for such kind of loading on the beam, which is a triangular type of loading. So here it is a hinge support, so it can resist vertical R A reaction and also the horizontal. But the horizontal component will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam. Here it is a roller support. So it can only take the vertical load, so it will be R B. So R A and R B are unknown to us. So we have to find out these two support reaction. So how to do this? The first step is to find out the total load acting on this beam. And how to do this? We have to take uh, the area of this load acting on the beam. So this is a triangular area. We see here there is a triangular load acting on this beam, so it is a triangular load. So we have to find out the area of this load. So area, how to find out this area? And this area will be the pointed load acting on this beam. So to find out the area, it is equal to the half base into height. Now half base is this distance, which is six meter. Multiplying it with the height, it means this height, which is three kilonewton per meter. So three, six is the meter, and this is kilonewton per meter. So meter meter will be cancelled. So we got here. If you multiply this value and divide by two, so we got here nine kilonewton. So it means that we got nine kilonewton load. So the nine kilonewton load is acting on this beam here at midpoint of this triangular. Nine kilonewton. This is a pointed load of nine kilonewton. Now the point is here where this load is acting here from this end, and also from this end. This distance are unknown to us. So how to find out this? We know the six meter is the total distance. So this distance, this is, will be equal to the two third of the total distance, two third of six meter. So it will become out to be four meter, and this distance will be equal to the one third of six. This is the way how to find out the centroid of the triangle. So this is now four meter, and it is now two meter. So now we know this pointed load nine kilonewton, and also we know the other values of distance. So it will be easy to find out the now the support reactions. How now? Let's suppose taking the summation of moment at point E equal to zero, and clockwise moment is positive, and anticlockwise moment is negative. So the first load that creates the load moment about point A here is this one, nine kilonewton, and it is acting downward. So it is creating the moment in the clockwise direction. So it is positive nine multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this point up to this point, which is four meter. We found out before, so four meter. The other load that creates the moment about point B is R B. So it is acting in the upward direction. So here, like in this way. So it is acting in anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative R B multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from B point up to A, which is total, which is six meter. So summation of total moment about point A equal to zero. So we got here R B six R B equal to thirty six, and if we shift this value, so R B equal to six kilonewton. So this is the Reaction here at this point six kilonewton. Now how to find out R A? So simply using this equation, it's summation of all the vertical forces equal to zero. Upward forces are positive, downward forces are negative. Now the upward forces are R A and R B minus negative force is this nine kilonewton which is acting in downward direction equal to zero. Now R A is unknown to us because we know R B is six kilonewton, so R is unknown to us. If we shift this value to the right side, so it will be nine minus six, because R B 
is equal to 6 kN, so Ra comes out to be 3 kN. So here Ra is 3 kN. So we found out Ra and Rb. So this is the way how to find out the support reaction for a load that is not a uniformly distributed load but a non-uniformly distributed load. Similarly, if there is a trapezoid load acting on the beam, for example, this load, this kind of load, so you can also find out the area of this area of this trapezoid and then find out the support reactions. In any case, you should know the principle that how to find out the area and then to find out the support reaction by simple equilibrium equations. Hope you guys understood and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.